Welcome to Cruise Master by Vehicle Components Camper Trailer of the Year. We've brought Australia's best camper trailers to a beautiful section of northern New South Wales rainforest and recruited the country's most experienced judges to run their eyes over them. Let's see how it goes. The Blue Tongue Overlander XF Series 2 is a Sydney-based camper manufacturer and as you can see it's quite a magnificent camper sitting proudly with the rainforest backdrop. So here we are in the living area, lots of room. Over here to the right we've got the double inner spring mattress. Heaps of headspace, loads of room. Stepping down out of the cabin, we have slide out kitchen to a standard as you'd expect. Moving here to the storage booths. Beautiful mechanism, two massive storage compartments, awesome. So here we have a Dometic diesel hydronic hot water system. Moving further around, we've got the 120 watt solar mat and then further we've got the, uh, the Red Arc battery management system, best quality you can get. Coming down underneath the camper, one of the things that really sets this one apart is the high tensile bolts in the undercarriage, just to give you that extra ounce of reliability and build quality. There are a couple of bling features to the Blue Tongue Overland XF Series 2. Dan, what do you think? I don't think it's a secret that um, I'm a big fan of Blue Tongue. Their attention to detail is pretty well unrivaled. You're always going to find they've replaced bolts, they've rounded off edges, um, you know, they've always got the best of the best for everything that they can get and I think the Overland XT is pretty much that in a nutshell. This is where Blue Tongue finds its niche in what is this very competitive forward fold market. They take your basic, you know, a good quality forward fold but they up spec it with good high-end brand name products. Look, they're going to be a little bit more expensive, but they're not taking you through into that $40,000, $45,000 price range, which is usually where you start seeing things like diesel hot water systems and red arc battery management systems and things like that. Was it a comfortable camper, Emma? Yeah, definitely. You know, we got a inner spring mattress, which is, I think, mandatory on a camper trailer. Yeah, it felt, it felt very comfortable, just kind of user friendly in general. Just little things like the, um, in the dinette area, the table wound up and down, so you didn't have to, you know, fold up legs and kind of find somewhere to put it. And would you be comfortable out in the bush on your own in this thing? Was it self-sufficiency up to scratch? Yes, it's got good power, it's got good water. So absolutely, I'd take it in the bush anywhere, no problem about it, and be confident getting there, and more importantly, getting back. <laughs>